The person who created this has never done sculpting before, but they made their handprint and then they made this. It's extraordinary. Uh, can you see the child in the palm of the hand? And then the, the hands of the, I don't know what this represents to me, I see a family of love and caring. Yeah. It's, it's, these are non-artists. Yeah, this yeah. is amazing work. The sculpture says awakening to the possibilities of joy. And what happens is in the first workshop, either adults or children, we take a plaster cast of their hand. And then from the plaster cast, we take a, a wax. Is this the person? Uh, nope, that's, okay. oh yeah, that's the person for that one. Okay, so yeah, this is that, Karen. That's Karen's hand. Okay. And then we take a wax off of the, the plaster. Right. And that's what the person works with to begin with. So we, we give them a sculpted So she was given this, and she hand. came back and created <laughs> and this. And this is uh, someone else's. That's David's. And uh, David created uh, that hand. And really, the p power of good art comes from deep core uh, of the self. And, and child abuse is inseparable from the core. So the place that good art comes from is connected to... Um, to that place that was also was hurt. And then the idea of a, of a national monument that's going to have an impact on the, uh, really on the world is very inspirational and is very, you know, it draws people's passion. So the, the necessities of good art exist in, right. in these squares. And so the people come up with the content and then I have a studio staff of, of good artists who also uh, know about child abuse issues and they help the person finish off and make when you see the squares they're all good professional works of art